hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. Sorry if I still sound weird. I have cough drops. I'm still very much uh, dealing with the sinus portion of recovering from the flu, but I'm really excited to be here today watching more movies with you. Now, you might be thinking, Ashley, I thought you said The Usual Suspects was coming up. And it was until Tom Sizemore passed away. Now here on the channel, whenever a celebrity passes away and maybe I have heard of them, maybe I haven't heard of them, I like to watch a movie in memory of them. So like when Betty White passed away, it was like Placid just last week. I watched The Three Musketeers for Raquel Welch. Now I did not put this one on a poll because when I saw the news that Tom Sizemore died, I went ahead and I looked up like his most famous movies. There were several movies that he was in but when I saw the title, Saving Private Ryan, I was like, oh, I don't need to put up a poll. Like, I need to watch this because this is one of the most requested films on the channel. So if you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail today, I'm watching Saving Private Ryan. Now, I don't know, other than the fact that Tom Sizemore is in it, <coughs> I don't know who's in it, but I do have kind of a funny backstory about this movie. So if you've been around a while, like I was born and raised in the South, in the Bible Belt, I grew up in a very religious household, in a very sheltered household, and uh, a very strict household. Now something I don't think I've really talked about that much is the fact that I had a 9 p.m. bedtime until I was a sophomore in college. Okay, and the only reason why that changed was because I moved out, and that's when I started to live at the church that I've mentioned multiple times. So a 9 p.m. bedtime, that wasn't be home by 9, that wasn't be in the house by nine. That was have dinner and be in bed, no TV on past 9 p.m., okay? Well, when I was in high school, I was probably a freshman, very religious, okay? Very sheltered, very religious. I could not sleep. And so I quietly shut my bedroom door. <laughs> quietly shut my bedroom door and I turn on the TV and when I tell you okay so I lived in a double wide trailer during this time so like that TV had to be on like 1% volume okay I stumbled upon Comedy Central now even during the daytime I wasn't allowed to watch this channel because it had dirty things on it look at where we're at now okay it just happened to be I don't know if it was mad TV I don't remember all I remember is it was a sketch and it was a parody of Saving Private Ryan and it was a parody called Saving Ryan's Privates and I thought that was the most scandalous thing. It wasn't, it wasn't a corn video, okay? It wasn't that. It was like a skit. I watched that entirely too young and entirely too sheltered. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's not about a female nurse coming to take care of a soldier <laughs> or it might but I don't think I don't think this is where that's going. So anyways, there's a fun little backstory that I've never seen this movie, but I saw that skit when I was like a freshman in high school, very pure, very wholesome, and I thought I was going to hell for 20 years. Okay, but here we are today. So let's look up a movie poster. So this is what I am looking at. I am already excited for two reasons. The first reason, I see Tom Hanks. I love Tom Hanks. The second reason is because it is a Steven Spielberg film. Saving Private Ryan. I don't think I've watched, I don't think I have many war movies on the channel. I mean, I have war games coming up this Friday. I have Dr. Strangelove, which was about the Cold War, but if you watched it, then I, you know I didn't really understand. So, Edward Burns, never heard of that guy. Matt Damon, I have heard of him. Maybe I'll recognize him. And Tom Sizemore, the whole reason why we're here today. And that's all we got. It's two hours and 49 minutes long, so I think I'm in for quite the ride. So no more diddle dally, let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which is Saving Private Ryan in memory of Tom Sizemore. Or I guess as far as war movies go, <clears throat> I also have seen Taking Chance, which was, woo, that movie got me, got me good. <laughs> I'm watching this in memory of Tom Sizemore, and I don't know what that man looks like. Is this movie going to make me cry? Because let me tell y'all something, if I start crying today, I got enough mucus left over that it's going to be a snotty mess, I'll tell you that right now. Honestly, I would probably be that guy throwing up over the edge. Is that Tom Hanks? I love Tom Hanks. Sorry, this is not the movie to be that way. Yep, yep, let it out. 
Oh my god. I already have anxiety about this. I'm already scared. He looks familiar too. A lot of a lot of people in this movie look familiar. I never thought about falling in the water with all your stuff on you. That's kind of like, oh my god, and you're getting hit underwater while you're trying to get your stuff off of you while you're drowning. I cannot imagine. I simply cannot imagine. off that would be me that would be me I don't know how so many people handle this he doesn't have an arm he doesn't have an arm he doesn't have an arm how is he up and moving he picked up his arm see if this is the stuff that kids dad and stand by me saw no wonder he burned his kids ear on a stove I like that plan that's a good plan the rally point is wherever you can make it to and be alive. Like, what even are those big metal things they've been hiding behind? Mama! Okay, yeah, this, this movie's gonna make me cry. Absolutely is. Oh my god. Oh my god. I will never be able to understand the kind of stuff people see that are serving our country. You're barely pulling a person anymore, guy. I mean, even if you make it to that little barrier, they're still way higher than you. I feel like they could easily shoot over that See? 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 I mean, y'all doing the best you can. I don't know. Who's in command here? You are, sir! Oh, no. Party. Your party. Oh, my God! 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 Oh, shit. We stopped the bleeding! Oh no! Oh no! This is a really difficult question I'm about to ask, but I swear to God, it's like a real one, and I don't mean this in like a bad way. Like, rude. who's in charge of cleaning up after, like big battle things? Oh my God! The body parts flying. This is this is. Oh my God! That's. This is awful. This is heartbreaking. They're doing what they have to do, but wow. I could not even imagine. I could not even imagine the pressure. Put your helmet back on! Don't look at it! Don't look at it! Oh, okay, I won't look at it! I won't look at it! What are we making here? What are we doing? Mmm. To look around the corner without getting shot. Got it. It's a little deflate over there, but it's the perfect fire position. Just... I think that's Tom Sizemore. The only way we can get everybody the hell out of here. Like, they're making calls and making plans and, like, Commanding people all while under fire and having to keep themselves safe and their men safe. Like, this is such- Die! Covering fire! Oh my goodness, I, I could never. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Nice! He made it! Snipe him. Got him! Is there really, like, chaplains on the battlefield with soldiers? You know, how much ammo does a does a soldier have to carry on his person at all times in situations like this, in active battle? Damn. Is that a flamethrower? Like a flame gun? What kind of gun is that? What kind of gun was that? Why are they surrendering? For a minute, I did not trust them. Okay, if those five guys want to surrender, tell your other friends. Tell them to surrender too! <laughs> Look at this, a Hitler youth man. Is that Vin Diesel? That's kind of cool. Okay, the shakes with the drink. Like, is he an alcoholic or is he just drinking to take the edge off of a very stressful situation? See, I guess this is why I asked my question earlier is like, I swear, I promise on everything, it was not to be rude, but like, in the midst of battle or wars, like, who's in charge of the cleanup? Because all these people have to be buried. They have to be taken back home. Okay. So there's Private Ryan. Is he dead? Oh, and then they have to write letters to all the families of everyone who didn't make it home. I could not imagine having this job. I'd be losing it every letter. The three men are brothers, sir. 
<gasps> afternoon, their mother's going to be getting all three telegrams. Oh no! Well, now I understand why it's important to save Private Ryan. Like my heart is simply not ready for her to have this news. Hundred first is scattered all the hell out of Congress, and this tribe's all over. North. Okay, that's a good point, but it's still worth it. He looks really familiar too. Also, is that man Walter White from Bre Breaking Bad? The boy's alive. We are gonna send somebody to find him. I support this. What about our casualties? A lot. It was a tough assignment. That's why you got it. I've got another one for you. Another tough assignment? Oh, is he gonna save Private Ryan? Because I feel like he needs a little bit of a hopeful mission. mission. If anybody could do it, Tom Hanks is the man. It's not gonna be easy finding one particular soldier in the middle. That's a good point. Finding a needle in a stack of needles. We got anybody who speaks French? Not that I know of. What about Talbot? This morning. Uh. Oh, man. I, like, I didn't even think about that, about the people who are wounded. And you find them and there's some hope, but then, like, they pass away from their injuries. It's just if you consider I've never been in combat, sir, I make maps in a Oh, that's a big thing to know, then, that you've never been in combat. Did you fire the weapon in basic training? Yes, sir. Then you're good to go. Sir, I'm sure you're scared shitless, but you got this. You don't need a typewriter. May I bring my typewriter, sir? He's got a pencil. Is that a souvenir? Ah. No, sir. Take your time. <laughs> okay, I relate to this man. Scared shitless and scattered. Wow. Wow. Get your head blown off, you fancy little <laughs> You haven't fucking touched me with those little rat claws again. <laughs> Damn! Why don't you ask the captain where he's from? Don't. Yeah, that's the captain. I'll tell you everything you want to know about him. Nope, that's a trap. You about to get your ass beat. Don't do it. I mean, shit, I bet even the captain's got a mother. Maybe not the captain, but the rest of us got mother. Damn. We don't have orders and we have to follow them. That supersedes everything, including your mothers. There it is. <laughs> Me and that guy both pointed at the same time. Especially if you think the mission is FUBAR. What's FUBAR? I was about to say, what's FUBAR? This entire mission is a serious misallocation of valuable military resources. That's a big opinion. Two and including one mile of Adolf Hitler. Pack your bags, fellas. War's over. I love that confidence. There's a chain of command. Gripes go up, not down. Love that. This is an excellent mission, sir, with an extremely valuable objective, sir. <laughs> he would not be griping. <laughs> He's good. I still want to know what FUBAR means. Do we ever find out what FUBAR means? Okay, you know what? Steven Spielberg, that was amazing. The transition... The increasing of the water drops hitting the leaves with the increasing of the gunshots. It was beautiful. Oh my god, not the dead horse. Just eight of us, we're not your relief. Huh. <laughs> yeah, bad news. Two hours ago, they cut us right in two. Damn, separated. Statue of Liberty is kaput. Is it? Is it kaput? Father was circumcised by my rabbi, you prick! Okay, <laughs> whatever makes you feel better about the situation you're in. Are you eating apples while there's active gunfire? What if they're like poison apples or like crab apples that give you the shits? Ah! See, I wouldn't even know where to look. I wouldn't even know where to look. Have breath at him, he still carries the message. We do the same thing. Oh, good point, good point, good point. Like, I never had that thought process before. I never thought about that before. Shoot and scoot, two of yours, two of mine. I have never thought about how much brain power is needed. Uh, short run. To change plans in a, in, in a blink of an eye. Brandon, where's the cabin from? You figure that one out, you got yourself a nice prep. You're still talking about that? Company's got a pool, five bucks gets you in. They have a bet going for this? You know, get your entertainment where your entertainment is. Cam didn't go to school. They assembled them at OCS at a spare body part. <laughs> hey, help him. Girl, Pete, don't step in the bullshit. That is so funny because the guy was lying. Oh my God, not a baby. No, 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 we can't take the kid. No, we can't take the kid. We're doing- Don't grab the kid. We can't take the kid. Oh my God, this is- Why is he taking a kid right now? Captain is literally saying no. What makes you think this is a good idea? At least take her down the road to the next town. No. Oh! And see, because you try to save someone who look like your niece, you're not gonna make it home to see your niece. But like, you can never be too that's safe. Bad. I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. This sniper's got talent. Oh, that's why they didn't see it. Cause it's a sniper, he's hiding somewhere. You got it, you got it. You were born for this, you were talking about it earlier. This is your skill, this is what God gave you. Get up, can you see him from there? How is he? 
shot. Oh my god, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. You about to get got by that sniper. What's the matter with you? We'll get him when we can get him. Put your head down or you're gonna get shot again. Put your head down or you're gonna get shot again. Act dead. No. You're gonna get shot again, dude, and you're gonna be KO'd. It's to my dad. Got blood on it. It's about to have brain on it. Oh shit, it's gonna give him away. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Holy shit. We got him. Stay down. Holy crap, what a shot. <laughs> you know what, honestly, girl, I wouldn't blame you. I'd be mad at him, too. It's a shitty lesson to learn, but we had to, had to learn it. This makes me so sad because there's no time, there's no time to mourn. You get everything you can use off of him and then go. It makes me so sad. And he was just trying to do the right, he was just trying to do right by the kids. That makes me so sad. He's been in stuff too, he looks familiar. Yeah, we just learned that lesson, friend. Please, thank you, you moron. <laughs> I take things too personal. <laughs> I'd be like, why you talk to me like that? Oh my God. Oh my God. I wouldn't be telling him to drop them, I'd be dropping them. It had to be done. It had to be done. Ooh. You get Ryan up here. They found him? Like he's there? Uninjured? Wow! Not just not dead, but uninjured. It's like I understand I understand everybody's emotion here. It's like why are we going after this one guy when there's tons of people who've lost people? But still, orders are orders. Deal with it. As long as you say it, your brothers are dead. He was right. Not an easy way to say that. Because you're going home. What a crazy mix of emotions that probably is. Yay for going home. Big sad because your brothers are dead. <laughs> how, how did they die? War. It can't be. My brothers are still in grammar school. <coughs> <coughs> Wrong Ryan. Take Frederick Ryan, Minnesota. Wrong Ryan. We gotta go. You know what? Actually, just kidding. <laughs> Good news and bad news. Good news is your brothers are not dead. Bad news is you're not going home. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. I just wrote them a letter. Oh my god, that poor guy. That poor man. I haven't seen a single guy from my stick, sir. Oh, well, that's not hopeful. Something with clean sheets and soft pillows and room service. <laughs> and whoever is open is definitely wanting to cater to Americans right now. Portsmouth when they brought us down for embarkation and comes and goes. Oh, like Parkinson's or Trimmers, maybe? Oh, it was because he was an alcoholic. He <laughs> was a midget. Was <laughs> that guy's not having it. Oh, oh, he's writing, he's rewriting the letter. Well, you could save the lives of two or three. But that's still a hard thing. 94, but that means I've saved the lives Damn. of 10 times that many. Okay, that's a good way to look at things. I'm making the choice between the mission and the man. Except this time the mission is man. Oh my God, between the mission and the men. Sometimes the mission is the man. You'd better go home cure some disease or prevent the longer lasting life fall for some. <laughs> Are you all right? Are you all right? What a heavy question to ask in the midst of battle. The guy's lights out the minute his head hits the back. Get your sleep where you can get your sleep. Apparently, you know, it's pretty hard to come by, dudes. Lie in my bed and try to stay awake as long as I could, but it never worked because... That makes sense. I swear that one was never too tired to talk. <laughs> Only time she could get a word in. I knew she just wanted to find out about my day. I still wouldn't move. I'd still pretend to just be asleep. I don't know why I did that. You were a kid. You were a kid. It's okay. There's plenty of stuff we did as kids that we would go back and change, you know? So where are you from, Kenny? What's the pool up to? He's really trying to crack his captain. Well, when it gets up to 500. That's a good deal. I like that deal. I wonder if we don't live that long. 500? 500 would be good. <laughs> I was about to be like, damn. Okay, I may be like halfway through this movie, if even that. I understand. I get it now. I've never heard anybody talk bad about this movie. I mean, war movies might not be your jam, 
but like if you watch this like people have major respect for this movie and i'm only halfway through and like sir, if i have this kind move. of yes, revere for this movie now or regard for this movie i i can't imagine the other half of it oh my god i never thought about the bugs and the open wounds with mine sir i was a pilot private you got a hole in your noggin and you're worried about a cigarette right now other guys keep showing up then some officer will come along patch together a mixed unit never thought about having to do that mixing different people from different units and just slapping them together and moving on you know smell that leg right there find out if it's south of cheese what 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 does that mean unit you know Uden. good for you take your time good for you now i understand why the the nazi youth knife was so important fubar what does FUBAR mean? Hey, look at FUBAR in the German dictionary. There's no FUBAR in there. Ah, bum. Yes, sir. Okay, so me and that guy, same thing. What do you think, Jackson? You think that little prick's in there? I can feel some resentment starting to build amongst the crew searching for Private Ryan. We gotta find his prick. Wow. Every one of those tags is a, is a man that had a life back home. I think I got a winner. What are you talking about? Ryan. For real? R-I-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. It's Rien and it's French. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would have made the same mistake, probably. Christ, look at this ball bastard, huh? I guess they, uh... How can you look at those tags and say that? I'd be a mess going through those tags. Like, they're nothing. They were all people. Oh, oh goddamn airboat watching. Oh, good point, good point. In front of... In front of all the other guys they came in with. Under the woods like Hansel and Gretel calling his name. It's a concept. Mandelson pal around with Orion from C Company. Maybe? Maybe? You're gonna have to speak up, You're sir. gonna have to speak up, so sir. Good. My hearing is not goes. so- Sorry, I should laugh. Francis Ryan. No, no, no. James Francis Ryan. Yes. Yeah, of course I know him, sir. Awesome, awesome. Where is he? Thank you, thank you, right thank you. Re thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Making the best of a bad situation, but we got a lead! Take a deep water port and Rommel knows that. Because everybody's catching on to it, and they seem to be getting worse. You're still qualified for this job just because your hand's being a little bitch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. They have been there for a while. Machine gun. Probably MG42. Jeez. Oh. Sniper, get on it. Sniper, get on it. We can still skip it and accomplish our mission. I mean, this isn't our mission, right, sir? Wow, his hand shakes a little bit and y'all start questioning all of his decisions for real? Necessary risk given our objective, sir. Our objective is to win the war. Good point. Good point by you. I don't know, man. I don't know what I would do. I mean, I guess, you know, you're in the, in the military. You do what your captain says. But, like, if it's unnecessary, then why do it, you know? Who's going left? Nobody wants to go left. Who's going left? Nobody wants to do this mission, so they're not going to volunteer. Maybe I should go up the middle, sir. The way you run, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I should go left, sir. Maybe you should shut up. Wow. They've trusted him this far, and now all of a sudden they're questioning his decisions? That's real awful. Instantly getting shot at. Oh, my God. Ooh, the cow body getting shot up. Or actually, he said to watch the rear, so, okay. I guess he's doing what he was told to do. Oh shit, hot potato with a grenade! What do we do? What do we do about that? How many are we gonna lose for this? I'm scared. Okay, well, I hear familiar voices, so that's good. I got it. Oh my god, could you imagine being the medical person having to receive medical attention and telling the other people what to do to save your own life? How's it look? It's gonna be okay. It don't look great. I'm not a doctor, but it don't look great. Put some more pressure on it. Corporal, I don't know what you should be doing, but you gotta be doing something more than just standing there. I could use a little morphine. Oh, because he knows he's not gonna make it. So I might as well let him go as easily as he could. I'd rather him go as painless as possible than lie there and suffer. Mama. Stop calling for your mamas! Take out your anger any way you can. Jackson, you're hit. Oh, is he hit? 
His arm? Okay. Hey, you're okay. This is not right. You can help me with the bodies. This is war, man! This is war! Hey, take your time, take your moment. You're losing a lot of men. This is a big thing. They're starting to question your ability because your hand. Is that the bad guy? Are you having a cigarette with the bad guy? I like America. Betty Boo, <laughs> what a dish. Oh my God, dude, stop. I say, can you see? I say, can you see? Close, not it. He says he's sorry about Wayne. No, well, of course he is now that his life is in y'all's hands and he's the only one left. He surrendered. He surrendered, sir. Doesn't matter. He surrendered after he lost. His two f Hitlers do not outdo his millions of Heil Hitlers. To march a thousand paces in that direction and he can take off the blindfold, yes, we'll be gone. They're not gonna let him go. They're not gonna let him go. That sniper better headshot. Yeah, only if he doesn't get picked up by his own Wehrmacht first, then. Exactly. Exactly. Get your gear. You heard him gear up. Tension is mounting in this small crew. I have a call coming to take this nest, but the hell, we only lost one of our guys going for it. Little Jimmy's life is a little bit more important than two of our guys. Oh my god. Help! I understand those feelings, but I don't think you could be saying that kind of stuff right now. At the end of the day, he is still your captain. I'm done with this mission. Where are you gonna go? Can you really just be done with the mission and walk off? I don't think so. I'm not gonna ask you again, soldier. Captain! Uh, Whoa! You gonna shoot me over, Ryan? No, I'm gonna shoot you because I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, put your money where your mouth is and go with it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm What's waiting. the pull on me up to right now? Is now the time? I teach English composition the last 11 years. My wife is even going to recognize me whenever it is I get back to her. Oof. PTSD. Night terrors. Flashbacks. Finding him so he can go home. If that earns me the right to get back to my wife, well then... You're just doing what you were commanded to do. Wow, and you're for real going to go. You're for real going to go. What's the baby sing? Whatever gets you through it. We're in a field and the music is scary, so I think something bad's about to happen. You're in an open field, in the middle of a war, my guy. What do we do? What do we do in this case? I mean, I guess we just... Who's doing a shoot? What does that mean? What does doing a shoot mean? On your left flank. Take their left flank. Oh. Was there only one tank? I don't know anything about war tactics. Ah! How many people fit in a tank? Oh, nice. Oh, friends. Yay. Hi. <laughs> Anderson, Easy Company, 501st. Ryan first to 506. James Ryan? Is that the one we need? James Francis Ryan? Yes, sir. Get your ass with us. We're going home, buddy. Hey, look, guys. We found him. So what are you guys all about? We're here for him. Funny you should ask. We're looking for that guy. James Francis Ryan of Iowa? Peyton, Iowa. That's correct. What? Many things. Your brothers were killed in combat. Which, which one? All of them. You might want to take some time with this. Or just cry right there, buddy. It's a big thing. Feel your feelings. You lost all your brothers. Ryan lost his brothers. Which one? All of them. Yeah. Yeah. Our orders are to bring you back. Bring me back. Something tells me he ain't gonna go. I can't, your party's I, over here. Sir, I can't leave until at least reinforcements. I mean, who do you follow? Do you follow the chief of... Sir, what about them? Chief I mean, of staff they're, they're man? Or do you follow your orders independently? Two of our guys already died trying to find you, all right? Good point. It doesn't make any sense, sir. Why? Why me? Why do I deserve to go? It's a good question. Why not any of these guys? They all fought just as hard as me. And everybody's got a family. I was here, and I was with the only brothers that I have left. Damn. I have goosebumps. That is so powerful. This man literally has a get out of war free card, and he is standing on his ground. Wow. So does that mean y'all stay with them now? To protect him? Or do you leave and be like, he said no. <laughs> we stay and actually make it out of here. With him, alive. Saving Private Ryan was the one decent thing we were able to pull out of this hole. Good point, good point, good point. We do that, we all earn the right to go home. That's a great point. Might as well be spitwise if they're rolling us with tanks. That's a good point. <laughs> make that tank a 60 ton robot. Ooh, that's a good plan, that's a good plan. If we can, I can get you up in that bell tower. 
Yes, sir. Some company couldn't hurt. That's a good place for a sniper. You know, we could try a sticky bomb. What's a sticky bomb? No, it's in the field manual. We seem to be out of field manuals, sir. <laughs> That's a good point. And you coat the whole thing with axle grease. That way, when you throw it, it sticks, but the fuse is still lit. Remember that time you wanted to pack your typewriter? <laughs> this movie. Ah, y'all. Number one, so many emotions. Number two, this is just, this film, Steven Spielberg, stop it. Like, has that man, has Steven Spielberg ever made a flop is my question. I mean, listen, I know I don't like E.T., but like that movie's not a flop. Where am I during all this? You're more than two feet away from me. Got it. You didn't want to leave? Well, now you got it. <laughs> now we're working the buddy system. <laughs> Why I started just handing out cartons of cigarettes. I said, no, thank you. I don't smoke. <laughs> you do now. Up beyond all recognition, FUBAR. Oh, up beyond all recognition, FUBAR. No coffee for you. You gotta live for the simple pleasures in life, and you can't even have a simple pleasure. What was that part? She, 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 she sang that before. Aw, he's translating the song for them. That's fun. That's nice. I find myself curiously aroused by you. And <laughs> Up. But many more songs like this, the crowds aren't going to have to shoot. <laughs> Damn. And this is Rachel Trubowitz. What she said to me. The What'd she say? What, don't touch me? <laughs> 44 double E. Oh, big old biddies. She sees me and she can tell I got a heart on the size of the <laughs> If you're ever scared, I want you to close your eyes and think of these. Whatever gets you through it. And look, you've made it this far, so there's some power in them titties. Yeah, I'm just keeping the rhythm. Definitely. That's definitely the rhythm. Well, you don't just think about their faces. You think about something specific. My wife pruning the rose bushes and a pair of my old work gloves. The details brings it all back. With Alice. <laughs> Alice Jardine. I don't know who that is. I don't know why this is funny. Picture a girl who just took a nosedive from the ugly tree and... Stop it. Shirt over and she goes running right into the wall and not... Jesus Christ, what a story! <laughs> what are you trying to hit me for? I just did you... <laughs> <laughs> what a memory! The whole barn almost goes up because of this thing. Did he get the girl out? Did he get the girl out? Hey, that was the last night the four of us were together. Oh. Tell me about your wife and those rose bushes. No. <laughs> no, that one I saved just for me. Aw, as you should. Good for you. So shouldn't y'all be taking like shifts sleeping or something? I don't, I mean, I don't know the rules. When do y'all get sleep? I don't know. Is that the tank coming? It's gotta be the tank coming. Oh my God, we we had a few happy moments. So now we gotta get right back into the action. Panzer tanks, two of them, infantry. Wow. Number one, bad news. Number two, good job on the hand signals. Disperse, you know what to do. Rabbit, get on the rabbit. So y'all big outnumbered is what I'm hearing. What's that little vehicle? Little bicycle tank action. I wouldn't be standing in the middle of the road, I tell you that. Up them. Hustle up. I don't think I'm breathing. You're in charge of ammo, you better be on it. You better have that ammo ready to go for these guys. Is that like gunpowder? He can light it? He hit, that's exactly what it is. Or he hid that line with dirt. That's what that is, okay. Mr. Jackson in the bell tower needs that. How do you not know your guns and what ammo goes to them? You're gonna get shot, dude. My heart is pounding. I'm so in this movie right now. You gotta do more of that? Do what you gotta do. I ain't here to judge. Whatever helps you focus. Like, do you wait till you see more of them? Wait to see where they're going and then get them? Aw, oh, shit. They're not gonna bottleneck down. They're going around. Okay. Okay, at least some of them are taking the bait. Come on. Oh my God, I simply would have shat myself. Like, when do you know when to shoot? When do you know when to shoot? When is close, when is too close, too close, you know? There we go. I figured out our sign to start shooting that. Okay, here we go. Sticky bombs activated. You cutting it close, getting raw! Oh God, oh my God, oh my God. We got any more sticky bombs that we want to try to actually stick on the tank? Do it, do it, do it. Y'all gonna get run over by that tank. Sticky bombs stuck. There we go. It worked just like you said it would. Took off the tracks. Oh, Corporal. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, great heavens. Do it. Yep. 
Nice. No, no, Ryan, get down, get down. We gotta protect you at all costs, my guy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ryan! Oh shit! Oh shit! Go take cover somewhere else, homie. Oh. I never thought about taking down the buildings in order to collapse around everybody else to take them down with debris. Get off of me! Yeah, I'm fine too, Captain. <laughs> I mean, it was necessary. It had to be done, but damn. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, 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 oh! Well, shit. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all are doing great. Y'all are doing great. I know he's gonna get got. He has to get got. I just feel it in my bones. He's gonna die. I'm out of 30 caliber. Where's Corporal? Where's Corporal with the ammo? Come on now. Oh shit, there's somebody still in the tank. Oh baby. Fucking get it out! I haven't seen Private Ryan in a hot second. Is he still alive? Throw it out! Good job, good thinking, quick thinking. They need ammo, homie, they need ammo, homie. I know it's scary, but you got one job and that is deliver ammo. Come on, come on! Oh no, oh, he's dead, he's gone. Oh shit, okay, well. I'm out! What do we do? Oh shit, was it corporal? Cause nobody else is coming up the stairs, head to the- oh, no! Shit, oh! Jesus Christ! Okay, well, I was wrong. I was severely incorrect. But does that mean Corporal has already gotten guys since he was at the bottom? Probably. Take his gun. Kill him with his own gun. God, that man is dying from a shot to the throat and y'all are wrestling all over him. I'm up! I need another bit! Corporal somewhere with all the ammo. Don't know where he went. Nice, here we go. Good job! Good job! Go! Go do something! Other than just stand there! Ooh. Ooh, biting his finger off. Can we move with a quickness like your friend's life depends on it? Oh my god, if he accidentally shoots the American. Let's only stop! Stop! No, 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 Listen, last resort is last resort. Come on! Oh! Oh no! Corporal! Now you're gonna get shot. You're gonna surrender? Now he's gonna kill you and take your ammo. Embarrassing for you. You're not even worth his time to kill. What's worse? Living with this guilt or getting shot? Like living with this? That's, oh my God. I cannot imagine. Oh, nice! Nice! I mean, I don't know anything about what they're doing, but if it works, it works. Yeah. Holy shit, what do we do? This man is shot and dragging your sorry ass to the rally point. Meanwhile, you couldn't even deliver ammo to your friend who was getting stabbed to death. I could not be more mad at this guy. I could not be more mad at this guy. And I'm not saying that I also wouldn't chicken out, but like, come on. I'd rather die trying than survive a coward, you know? But I'm a civilian, what the hell do I know? I didn't enlist, I'm not in the military. Cause I'm a fucking coward! Oh no, he shot in his good hand. Oh, damn, 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 damn. I was about to say, this man survived two gunshot wounds, but I don't think he's gonna make that, that third one. No. Got the wind knocked out. Get out of here. That's one way to word it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on now. Come on now. Light the bridge. Light the bridge. Damn it. They're running out of like nobody has ammo, and now they're getting gun butted to death. Light the bridge. Oh, Mike's not there. Mike's Mike's big gone. You gotta light the bridge, buddy. You gotta light the bridge. You gotta light the bridge. You gotta light the bridge. My butthole would be so far puckered. Oh my God, was that the guy they set free? I hope you learned a lesson. I hope you learned a lesson. Oh my God. See, see what they tried to tell you earlier. Light the bridge, light the bridge, blow it up before you check out. Come on, come on, steady that hand, steady that hand. You got it, you got it. It's a 
bad hand, but I believe in it. I believe in you. Oh, wow, look at you. You're a few minutes too late. But, like, at least you're finally doing something. Shoot him first. Nah, shoot him. Thank you. About damn time. I hope you learned a lesson. Honestly, wouldn't even let him do that. I'm an all or nothing kind of gal, clearly. Is that Private Ryan? It better be him. He better have lived through all this. Whew, okay, he's still alive. And we got the rest of the homies rolling up to the function. What's Earn it. Private James Ryan on his way home from European battlefield. Woo, I'm glad he's getting home. On the altar of freedom. Abraham Lincoln. And that's him. There's an old man. He made it back home and lived a full life. And now he's coming to pay his respect to the men who made that possible. The hundreds of thousands of people who make it possible for all of us. I think about what you said to me that day on the bridge. Earn it. I've earned what all of you have done for me. Tell me I've led a good life. You've led a good life. You're a good man. You've done good. You've earned it. Look at your family. Wow. <laughs> Let's talk about it. My buddy Jeff told me that this movie made him ball like a baby. And listen, Jeff's a biker. Great guy. But like, Jeff ain't a crier. All right. So when Jeff tells me that it made him cry, listen, I got so close so many times. My, my response to this movie is gonna be along the same lines as The Color Purple. This movie is so heavy. And I made the comment, I immediately felt bad after I made the comment about Corporal like die a hero instead of living as a coward. When I'm a civilian, I didn't go to basic. Like I'm not volunteering to serve our country, okay? And I know, you know, there was a draft and maybe he wouldn't have done it. And, you know, I get that. But at the same time, like I will never as a civilian, know what that is like. This is another one of those, I got very close to crying several times, but it's almost like the realness of it kept me from sobbing. Like I needed to watch that and watch it and be there and watch it to, to, to feel the gravity of the film. People lay without limbs and holes in their bodies and guts torn open crying for their mama to protect what freedoms we have in this country. Maybe it's your actual blood brothers like Private Ryan or it's, you know, somebody else who your brothers are your peers, your surrounding brothers in combat that you lose, that you get to know and you're seeing some of the roughest shit a human can possibly witness and go through. Some of the most gruesome things. That's stuff that people like me will never grasp, will never understand. And you're seeing that stuff with those guys right by your side or you're seeing that happen to the guys right by your side. I made it as like halfway as a joke in the middle of the movie, like has Steven Spielberg ever made a flop? It doesn't matter what I have seen. And I know some people don't like Steven Spielberg and that's a-okay. But for me, even though I hated E.T., dude was cutting edge. Like dude, the man doesn't let anything slip. Whether it be sci-fi fantasy like E.T. or it be storming the beaches of Normandy, that man is gonna put everything into it to make it as real as possible. This movie is so real. I feel like it holds nothing back. Like from the minute this movie starts, we are in combat and we are seeing death and explosions and injuries. And it's just, that's real. That's real. That that was real and it's real now in, in wars currently and future future battles and future wars. Like it has it has some of its funny moments with the little witty quips amongst the men, but like this movie is heavy and this movie has meaning and this movie has gravity. This movie is gonna be around forever. As long as history is around, I think this movie will always be important and I think everybody needs to see it. It's definitely not something that I wanna watch again tomorrow. Saving Private Ryan, five out of five stars. Five out of five stars. I am so glad that I watched it. I understand now why you all have told me to watch it and I think this is a film that will be around for a very long time to come for sure. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around because coming up Friday is War Games. A lot of war on the channel. Dr. Strangelove, this, War Games. Um, then the next Monday is The Usual Suspects. Then we have X-Men. Then we have 
everything, everywhere, all at once. And then we're gonna wrap up the month with completing Harry Potter. That's gonna be the last Friday of the month and the first Monday of April. So lots of things happen on the channel. Links to social media down below if you wanna be my friend outside the YouTubeverse and I'll see you right back here on Friday. Bye.